um, differences and forbidden. Um, you could be holding yourself back. You could be seeing something good and bad. Um, with the forbidden, it's very much something that uh, maybe you're coming to end on a, on a cycle for yourself. Um, because maybe you're seeing differences, okay? Uh, what else can you show them, please, for today? June 9th, June 9th, okay? Um, deceit. So, see, there is something there. Maybe if it isn't somebody that's um, doing this to you, it could be that you're doing it to yourself. Um, and perhaps needing to take a, a leap of uh, faith in something that will bring you a sense of stability and some sort of um, a firm foundation for you. At the bottom of the deck is wishing. So maybe you're wishing or hoping for something to change for you. And cycles, I definitely do feel you're going through a transition, maybe ending something. With the forbidden, maybe this is something that you haven't allowed yourself to have or enjoy. Um, it definitely could be maybe you're seeing between good and bad. But also with differences, it's almost I feel now that I'm looking at it, it's almost as if is this an opposite attract kind of a thing um, where you could be so different day and night, but yet still similar, if that makes sense. Okay, that's the kind of vibe I'm, I'm feeling right now, but let's see what this means, okay? I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome, guys. I appreciate you watching. I hope you're, you're being safe and staying healthy and all those good things. Let's see. Differences. Card 36. What does this mean for the viewer today? What is it that they're seeing? There's something you're intuitively feeling or seeing, okay? Um, differences. What does this mean? Card 36 for the viewer. Seven of Swords. Mm. Are you feeling stuck? Are you feeling stuck and you're getting this kind of feeling of not, you know, you want good, but yet you keep maybe putting yourself like you're stuck placing yourself in a sticky situation um is this someone else doing this to you um this is definitely my my venus flytrap thing a card because there are venus flytraps on here so it's almost like you got yourself into a sticky situation here um the card says treachery so there's something not not good are you seeing the bad in someone are you, is that what it is? You're seeing the difference in somebody? Maybe because you're paying attention to it now? Um, let's see here. So you got the transformation. This is about a transition. You're making a transition into something different. Um, perhaps something that you've held on to, but yet you want an escape from, okay? But once you allow this transition to happen, there's a sense of stability. I definitely feel that there is a risk that needs to be taken to give you that stability. Five of Swords, you're somewhat feeling defeated. And whatever the situation is for you, there's a sense of feeling stuck with the Seven of Swords. And there's a sense here of being defeated with the Five of Swords. Um, is it what's going on in the world? Is this something about a job? Or is this something regarding love? Okay, so you got nine of cups and the six of pentacles. So you're wishing for something to balance out. Um, and I do feel like a lot of us are in this state where when is the stuff going to stop? Where, when is everything going to stop and balance out? Um, and and this could be something where you're, you're, you're wishing for some kind of um, reciprocity or to have something that brings balance and peace for you maybe this is somebody who has taken taking you for a ride as far as taking advantage of your generosity i'm almost like making you feel weak um what is i want to know what is the seven of swords what's the seven of swords i know let's see seven of swords what does this mean Okay, so you gave me a bunch, but it's the Four of Swords. You, you want to end something. You want to end some kind of treachery, some kind of um, um, whatever this is for you. It's almost as if you're trying to 
heal from something, you're trying to somehow um, align yourself in a different direction, perhaps getting a little bit stronger in a situation and, and wanting to have some kind of change. Okay, what is the Five of Swords? So what is this difference? Um, it's almost like you're recognizing something that wasn't so nice. So the Five of Swords, you have some sort of anxiety or some kind of worry. Maybe you're worried about taking down a mask. My God, you guys, there's so many swords. You got the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. Um, there's a sense of just really being in a, in a place where there's just a lot of trickery. Um, there's definitely a sense with the four of swords where you want to end this but is this somebody that is wearing a false mask and holding either um holding back from you or you holding back from them but there's a lot of worry of how to take this mask down or how can you escape from this kind of treachery and it's something that's been going on for a long time because with the ten of swords it, it's at a ten but yet it's like you want a new beginning so is this you letting go of something with the transformation card? Is this something that you're letting go in order so you can have this balance right here? Um, what is the transformation? What's this transformation about? So something here has you worried or anxious. So King of Pentacles, this could be a person who is becoming more sturdy, more, more grounded. Um, this definitely could be where you're trying to be an individual at work and, and really go up the scale like you know just going up up um is this something that holds you back is there fear here from you being successful or not thinking of yourself as being successful but i definitely do feel like this is a wish that maybe you're wishing for something um to come to an end so that you can have stability and you could be seeing differences here um maybe something you didn't see before with the Seven of Swords coming out, I just feel you're trapped somewhere, but you want to be somewhere else. And it's all, maybe you've held yourself in this place and didn't allow yourself to move, but it's almost as if you're, you're finding the courage or strength to move out of something, whatever this is. Maybe it's a negative relationship. You've got some very um, icy cards here. Are you dealing with someone who's very um, tricky with their words. It's almost as if you give a lot into something and you're not getting back what you're, what you're hoping for, okay? What is it that they're wishing for? Let's ask. What are you wishing for? Nine of Cups, what does this mean? What are you wishing for? They said strength. Someone needs strength, okay? So let's see here. The Fool, you want a new beginning. You definitely want to explore something new. You want to go in a new direction. Maybe this is your person really wanting to go in a new direction. Um, take off a mask and really show you, um, you know, their true self. I don't feel like if you're if you're dealing with somebody here that really withheld from you um, and somewhat was a sticky situation, it's almost as if they want to come back and and give you a sense of something new um starting over um with the fool it's very much maybe taking it back to some sort of innocence maybe your opposites and one of you is very turmoil and topsy-turvy and just full of baggage and the other is very simple and very um i feel like very easy okay somebody here is thinking a lot in their head swords are about words they're about thinking it's about um you know getting some kind of clarity and um let's see what is forbidden what is the forbidden card 18 forbidden what does that mean um forbidden love is this something that you can't be with somebody and as i said that they shot her on the floor um so you have the Ten of Cups, you got the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Someone here has to choose. You have to choose because there is more thinking. Um, are you going to stay with the dark or are you going to go with the light? There's something here with the Ten of Cups I definitely do feel. There is a sense of having, um, 
you know, fulfillment with somebody. Um, and maybe this is something that's trying to manifest, but it's almost as if, do I pick it or do I not? Uh, definitely with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel this is something that's forbidden love. I heard forbidden love. It, it, is it because you're together with someone else and you can't move forward, but yet you feel trapped and you're keeping yourself trapped, trapped in something that's very vicious with the Five of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords. And it's almost as if whoever this is, it, it, it's like you just keep yourself there in thought instead of taking action. But they so desire the strength to move forward. Maybe they got to come out and expose a lot of truths with the Nine of Swords here. And they're worried about how to do that. What is the Seven of Pentacles? The Seven of Pentacles. Are you going to are you going to pick something that it is somewhat easier or something that is harder you're going to stay in the harder situation um what is the seven of pentacles please seven of pentacles what is the seven of pentacles seven of pentacles what can you tell me with the seven of pentacles it's like you want it see you got to take action for it whatever this is if, if it's a new idea to go out in your own and um, just really be sturdy and somewhat full of growth. It's like you got to take leadership. You got you got if the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. This is a masculine energy that is trying to do better. Um, they're trying, you see. I think that what happens here with the King of Pentacles, the difference is here that he's he or she, because we all carry masculine feminine energies whoever this is is seeing that there is good in a person and there's bad but i feel what this is is there's two people that they're looking at just very much like this two of swords they're looking at two different people um do you take the one that's a little bit darker or do you take the one that's a little darker um as far as not growing okay but what spirit is telling you it's like you manifest it and this would bring you a new beginning um, but perhaps you've got to end something in order for that new thing to start and take leadership with the King of Wands. So this is definitely a, a, a masculine energy. As soon as I saw forbidden and I even said it out loud, it's forbidden love. This is this is a love that they're very much in thought of, very much worried about, very much wanting to start um start over maybe you know have a sense of, of innocence but they just don't know how to do it i feel they feel trapped and they could be mentally trapped um let's see what is the deceit are they de this could be where you're deceiving yourself or it could be that someone else is doing this to you um this is a choice this is a choice definitely with the two of swords you got to choose something to get yourself Get yourself out of confusion, okay? I want to know what is deceit. What is deceit, please? Yeah, very curious. They're 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 very curious about this this person that they want to have a new beginning with, okay? Um, and it's they're so like perhaps searching. See, there's a lot of love there. There's a lot of emotion. So now you got the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the king of cups this this person this masculine energy is going through the ringer because they got all the emotions there they they got the strength that you bring them they got the love that they have for you and you have for them and then they have that passion with the um the king of wands but in a sense it's like maybe this curiosity is where with the paranormal it's a curiosity of Will I be successful? Can it be? Can it happen? Um, I feel this person is very emotional. What is the King of Cups? What's the? They're deceiving themselves. Okay. Um, not believing. Okay. So, King King of Pe King of Cups is being clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. And the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is where, even though there's a lot of emotion, they could be stuck somewhere else, you see. 
They might have a family already that they're staying with. They might already have a family that doesn't let them go. Um, due to, I feel it's like, um, it, it, it's almost as if you're with, they're with somebody who they just are somewhat settling for. Um, perhaps somebody who they have a lot of family tie ties it's almost like you have a big family and you don't want to let the family down and this could be you or this could be them okay um that's what it feels like with the ten of pen pen pentacles it's very much where you're working for this family um and perhaps it's somewhat needed needing to end because tens are about endings so you can start over um that's what I feel. It's it's like the King of Cups is very much fascinated. Maybe they're fascinated in something else. Um, with the Queen of Wands, maybe working out. They want to work something out with the Queen of Wands, which is maybe the Queen of Wands is very determined um, to get this, to manifest this. There's a deceit in the sense that this person is not allowing to have success with this Queen of Wands is what I feel. Um, maybe they're not pushing themselves. Whatever this is for you, it's almost like you have the ideas. You have the ideas to move forward with something. But maybe you're scared and you, that keeps you in that same pattern. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles on this card, it says practice. So maybe someone's trying to practice getting out of um a bad negative thinking because that bad ne negative thinking you have so many swords here it, it's weighing this person down um and instead of taking actions like the queen of wands would it, it's almost as if you somehow just keep it in your head and you don't take that leap of faith forward okay i feel someone here misses somebody i feel that they think about them a lot um, I feel like they're trying to work themselves to be better, okay? And once they feel better, they revert back to the, 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 the past, the darkness, okay? Oh, geez, I didn't see the lovers is at the bottom. So this is definitely a choice. They're, they're, it, it makes sense. It, it, it's like they're not making the choice to choose you, but yet they still long for you. At the top of the deck is the page of wands which it is about starting a new a new beginning and you see maybe in thought when they're in thought they get somewhat teary-eyed or somewhat emotional with that king of cups like they get emotional thinking about it um because there is a sense of a pull here okay what is that risk that needs to be taken and this risk will definitely give you that sense of a new beginning um what is the risk here what is the risk? Okay, so starting over, communicating, okay, with the Page of Wands, starting a new venture. If it's a job, a new career, or a new job, it's like you're sort of scared to fail. And, you know, it could be work. It could be work for some of you. Maybe you're working on yourself, okay? Um, Six of Wands, you definitely want... It's almost like you got to take a leap of faith and then all this positivity will come in for you with the, the sun card really healing, having clarity. You're working on yourself to have clarity. Um, and then the Knight of Cups, this is really having emotion, really having feeling. You have feeling for someone here. And then the Temperance, which is definitely a sense of of um, someone who balances you out, okay? But yet you're not with them and it causes a sense of poverty, a sense of loss. So this is somebody who is, I feel like, um, I hear homesick, homesick, but to me it's lovesick. I feel like it's lovesick. Um, yeah, it, it, it's almost as if they're so full of emotion for someone, but they don't know quite how to do it, how to take that leap of faith. Um, it's almost like their feelings, they're pushing back their feelings. They're not allowing their feelings to move forward so that they can perhaps start over. See, move forward. Yes. Okay. So this person is very much trying 
They're trying to work on their clarity. They're trying to work on their speech. Um, but see, maybe they're addicted to something or maybe somebody is addicted to them. Um, you know, they're wearing a false mask. Wherever they are, whoever this is for you, whether this is you or them, it's like a sense of wearing a false mask, maybe pretending, um, pretending to be happy, but then you revert. When you're alone and you're thinking, you go back and you think of the negativity. Um, because I do feel somebody here wants a new beginning. With the Three of Wands, it's very much about having a sense of moving forward, expanding yourself, having patience with yourself, forgiving yourself, taking that leap of faith, um, and whatever it is that you want to go towards. <coughs> Excuse me. So you got the Star card and the Nine of Cups. So it's very much trying to to manifest something and wish for something. I feel you're... you're with the world, it's like you want to complete something very quickly. Because you got to pull here with the star. You, you got to pull as far as from your spirit and your intuition as to what's going to make you happy. But you keep yourself in darkness, okay? And this may not be you. This may be your person that's doing this, okay? Let's see what's at the bottom. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. And yeah, there's almost like they're stuck on something negative, okay? Um, let's see if they're going to change. Let's see. What is, what is the conclusion for this story? What's going to happen with this story? Um, you're going to get your wish fulfillment. Whatever you're hoping for and wishing for, you will get it. You're, you're definitely looking to make a better choice with the devil here and the, the, the seven of cups. They made a wrong choice with some attachment I'm looking at the devil and it just, um, it, it, it's, it's, it's definitely this connection of just a lot of, I, I don't feel that it's negative. I feel that it, it, you're just drawn to this person because there's just so much chemistry. Um, and a lot of thinking, there's a lot of thinking going on, perhaps about each other. Okay. Um, what else can you tell me as far as this story and the devil? Tell me a little bit. How's this going to end with the devil? You see, they're going to take charge. They're going to take charge with the king of wands. You got the king of wands twice. You do have the king of wands and the queen of wands. So maybe this is your soulmate that's trying to balance something out within themselves. Because they've made wrong choices down the line. But they still have a lot of passion here. Um... Sorry about that, guys. Mr. Royce woke up, so I'm trying to hurry. Let's see here. I hope he sounds really loud here. I don't know if he's that loud on the camera, but let's see. See, they're going to take this ride and, and really somewhat let go of being trapped because they're trapped in their own misery. I definitely do feel that there, there are um, external forces that are causing friction for this person. But a lot of it is mental. It's inward, you know. So I, I do feel they are going to change. See, there you go. With the Ace of Cups, um, something new. Starting over, fighting fighting the opposing energies and fighting back for, for this new love, okay? Because there is an attachment here. And then the Queen of Swords, they're really speaking their truth, speaking what's on their mind instead of holding back. This person needs to find their truth. There you go. You got the king, king of pentacles again. And that was the original king that came out. I feel this is that king of pentacles that needs to take charge. Um, and whoever this is, it's almost as if they've sat quiet too long. And they've been in their head. Because there's a lot of thinking here with all these swords. But some truth needs to come out in order to have a new beginning. And I definitely do feel it. it's like they want to converse with you or maybe you want to converse with them. Um, and maybe this is where if you've had people that haven't want you to change or to move from a situation, it's almost as if you got to voice what you want to do and fight back. So that's what they're doing here. They're going to fight back is what I feel. Okay, so very interesting. I hope that... Um, 
that uh, makes some kind of sense for you. Let's see, what is their karmic cycle? Um, they could be in the place where they've just settled for a long time and are scared to move because they, I do sense there's a sense of family, okay? Especially with the Seven of Wands here and the Ten of Pentacles, there's a, there's a, a family that's surrounding this kind of um, person from moving forward. It's a negative kind of feeling. It's not like a positive kind of feeling. Um, let's see. What is this karmic cycle? So there's trying to work on the sabotage, rebuilding, um, being receptive and working on it. That's definitely what I've got with the, the Eight of Pentacles as well. They're working. They're still working on themselves because, let's see, sabotage. Um, sorry, stabbed in the back. They've been stabbed in the back, which is definitely that Ten of Swords, that Five of Swords, the Seven of Swords. Maybe they stabbed you in the back and, and just left you hanging for dry. But I feel the person that they picked to go with is really a backstabber. And I think that that is what they're seeing here with the differences. They have somebody who is good and someone who is bad. Okay. And they're stuck with the bad person, but really wishing to be with the good. Okay. What else can you tell me about this karmic cycle and how is it going to end? Not enough. Frustrated. Um, lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. This is this is what they need to deal with. Either the person is giving them all this kind of energy where they can't move. Okay. They could be dealing with a narcissist as far as, you know, um, not being able to move from something. Or these are the feelings they have about themselves. Okay. Lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, and ego, and heartbroken. I, I felt that very much with the page of um, the page of Pentacles because I feel that whenever they think about you, they get these tears in their eyes. They 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 are sad, um, but they want to have that opportunity to either um, start over, give you that passionate offer or that message. Um, and I feel they're they're definitely heartbroken. This person is almost at a, at a place where, um, you know, maybe this heartbreaking and this grieving and mourning is going to shift them into taking charge, okay? Um, almost like they're tired of being heartbroken. And, and, and it, it definitely is like where they, they can't get away from that heartbreak. I see them thinking positive. But yet they come back to negative. Um, maybe they're just living in a negative place. Okay. So take the chance. Risk. Being strategic. Um, options. Not showing the hands. So maybe they are working. Maybe they're doing things very low key. Trying to escape. I definitely do feel this person is trying to escape from something. Okay, what are the words of karma here? Love karma. What is the love karma here? Okay, that's these two. Sometimes the good is hidden. Yeah, they're hiding the good. That's what I feel. What you give will come back. So it's almost as if learning um, whatever they're giving, they're getting back. So this person needs to balance out and give good and then good will come back. But maybe they've been giving to the, they've been giving good to the wrong person, and it keeps them stuck. Okay, um, let's see, let's see this. Okay, what would love do? And that's what they're questioning. What would love do? Time to make a demonstration for sure. They gotta fight for something here. Change is always good. So they're changing. They're trying to change. Um, definitely is what I feel here. What is their new path? What is their new path in this story? Um, so this one right here. It's almost like destructive behavior. They get one foot out the door and they're, they're feeling good. And then something brings them back in. And that something is the bad thinking. They, they, don't, they don't know how to think um, without going back into that negativity. I think they've done a lot of things that were shady to you. Maybe they're ashamed of it, okay? Let's see this one right here. It is walkabout. It says, you discover your path in sacred walkabout. 
the trees are your people the earth is your tribe the lessons you find will will sur help you survive um so it's like you got to move forward you got to move forward and then um 1111 so maybe this is your twin okay numbers and doubles synchronicities and two don't hold back your love now life is meant for you so I do feel like this definitely could be your twin trying to transform for some of you, okay? And then this one here. So the three-eyed raven. A sunrise hits upon the dew. A messenger raven calls out with some news. So you're going to get some kind of news. Um, and then this one right here. Um, a distant kiss in a prayer flag. I wish all the wishes that you were here. Through the sunlight and rain, I need you near. You make them feel better. They make you feel better. And I do feel they think about you and get teary-eyed. Maybe this is you. Um, but I feel they really miss you here. Okay. What is the... Let's close it out with the Kuan Yin. What, what is the Kuan Yin message for, you, for today? Um, I think the message is this new love and this passion coming in. It's like they overthink it. Maybe because they made the wrong choice and my throat is sort of closing up. Ugh. I think like they made the wrong choice. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see, it's this one, this one first. Okay, it says, your time will come. Your souls, your souls are slower to blossom, building their inner beauty over time just the right until the right moment excuse me then the fullness of their beauty power and grace is revealed providing powerful healing medicine for those in need of comfort and hope so your time is coming you know be patient the three of wands said be patient this one right here be patient you're definitely gonna get what you want it's just maybe you need to have patience in this person or maybe you need to have patience in yourself to be able to move okay and then this one right here let's see here um now is the time now is the time to be open to what will be embrace your destiny beloved it is calling you forward even with it is hurt, hurtling towards you your time is now even though you're hurtling towards you. It's like everything's coming faster and don't be scared. The time is now, okay? For whatever it is that you're trying to change or maybe this is your person that needs to take that change. Okay, so there you go. I hope you like this reading. Um, leave me your comments and have a beautiful day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I appreciate you watching. Welcome to this guided meditation prayer for protection against sickness and evil for yourself for your family and for the world if you're guided here it is for a reason as a collective if we do pray and stand together we will banish evil that has been placed on this world allow yourself to focus on this light and just draw all your energy into this light i will Turn the music up so you can listen to it and let you hear it for a moment. In this time, just be in a meditative state with healing energy. Think about healing yourself, the world, the sickness that is happening in this world. Think about that. And then I will lower the music and say the prayer. Thank you so much, guys.
Beloved Archangel Michael, I call upon you to connect with me and help me at this moment, now and forever. I ask that you and your band of angels unite together to protect the earth and its humanity in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God strips all his fallen angels of their dark powers once and for all, now and forever. May the ones who hold dark powers, the ones that have been able to rule humanity away from the one and only true God, the ones who have been creating animosity, fear, sickness, and blockages to God by distractions on this earth be stripped of their powers and omitted from this earth now and forever. May the truth that God holds be revealed and allow the earth to rule in peace, love, and harmony as God intended. I pray, Archangel Michael, that you surround me with your love, light, peace, and protection. Guide me, heal me, and bless me now and forever. I pray that you vacuum any negative thoughts, fears, phobias, procrastinations, ill health, sorrow and sadness, pain, worries, black magic, evil eye, and financial blockages that hold that I hold within me. Cut any evil cords and remove these from me and replace them with white light instead. Convert my negative thoughts into positive thoughts, fears with faith, procrastination into proactiveness, ill health into health, sorrow and sadness into happiness, pain into relief, worries into peace, and financial blockages into abundance. Protect me now and forever. Heal and protect all who are sick in the world now and forever. Protect my mother, my father, my sister, my brother, my wife, my husband, my children, and my neighbors now and forever. I thank you, Archangel Michael, and your band of angels for your love and protection.